A New York woman had an encounter with a six-foot-tall entity with the mantis-shaped head. Since that incident, she believes she may have been abducted because of lost time. I received the following account after my post the previous day. This is in response to your recent post about a mantis-like entity. The incident occurred on June 22, 2018 a bit before 12 a.m. midnight in Fillmore, New York. I was in the shed to use Wi-Fi for my phone because the kids were on devices and dogs are loud in the house. While I was watching from inside the shed I noticed something an hour after I was in there. I heard movement of something shuffling in the tall grass. I thought it was a deer until my cat started growling and staring at the shed door. When I scanned the tree line and bushes with my big lead light I thought I saw a head pop up into the dark. I pretended I didn't see it and spotted my light to the left and heard it quickly get closer. I flashed the light back fast and it was very close, now about 30 feet in front of me. We stared at each other for what seemed like forever but I know it was probably only 20 seconds or so. I was so scared I couldn't move. Also it didn't move as I watched it. I noticed its limbs and features while we stared at each other. It was greenish gray with very big mantis eyes. The skin was smooth and had broad shoulders, but as you followed down it got skinny. The eyebrow ridge stuck out with a wide head with an upward slant. Its eyes reflected green. There were light green flecks that shone yellow and orange from my light. It was over six foot tall. I suddenly got the feeling that it was going to grab me, so I slammed the shed door and turned and ran to my house. When I got in I told my husband about what I had seen, I noticed that a whole hour pasted by it was now a few minutes after 1am. I know I didn't look at this thing for an hour. My husband came out with me with his gun but it was gone. I was really scared after that. I will not be out at night anymore. I always feel like I'm being watched. I started to look into UFOs and abductions. I had never read up on this before my experience and now believe I was abducted, but have no memory of it. H.C. An army veteran, while asleep at his home in Villa Park, Illinois, experiences flashes of bright light coming from the outside. He soon encounters a mantis-like entity while observing it exit an orb-shaped craft. I recently received the following account. This incident occurred on April 23, 2012, at approximately 4.40 a.m. At the time, I lived in a townhouse in Villa Park, Illinois, and often sleep on the ground floor in my living room on the couch. I could see both front and back doors, including a sliding glass patio door leading to the backyard. I am a 31-year-old male army veteran, and lived alone at the time. Being a former military man, I was, and am still a very avid and active supporter of self-defense, during and also after my military service I have always kept a weapon in my home for self-defense purposes. Even sleeping with a weapon, .380 caliber pistol, no further than arm's length, in case of an intruder or burglar. Up until this event I was also very skeptical of anything I had and seen with my own eyes, especially things related to the paranormal. All of this changed that early morning. As I slept on my living room couch a strange feeling came across me and awoke me from my sleep in the pitch blackness of the room. As I moved myself to the sitting position, I saw a small flash of yellowish light piercing my sliding glass patio door, through the closed hall swaying blinds. At first I didn't think much of it, until only seconds later. I see another flash of light, this time the flash was red and seemed larger. Thinking maybe there was an intruder inside the closed wooden gate of my backyard I quickly grabbed my 380 pistol from the floor near the couch, and hurried to look through the blinds. What I saw next changed my life and has affected me mentally until this day. As I stood at the sliding glass door looking across the parking lot, maybe 60 feet away on the rooftop of the adjacent town home directly in front of me, was a perfectly round extremely bright orb which could have been approximately 5 to 6 feet in diameter. I could then help feeling as if I was being beckoned to come to the door with these flashes of light. After about 10 seconds or so of staring at the bright luminescent orb it doubled in size and again changed color to yellowish green in a single flash of bright light. Immediately following the flash there was what sounded like a very loud helicopter if one could have been directly above my house. At the same time the orb grew something that looked like a large praying mantis mixed with a snake flew out of the orb and straight up. I could see that it had what seemed like a long 3 to 4 feet tail as it exited what I can only describe as a portal and then the portal was gone. 
almost as quickly as it had exited this orb, the beam flew directly towards me as the loud sound was ear piercing. The beam moved at an extreme speed toward me. It took all of 2 to 3 seconds to cross the 60 plus FT of parking lot between the adjacent rooftop of the town home directly behind mine. Over my wooden backyard fence, where it came to a stop directly in front of me no more than two and a half feet, hovering about five feet off the ground. At this time the creature displayed no lights. It was all black with what seemed like very strange symbols I had never seen before that went across its midsection, torso area. At first glimpse I could only describe this being as a biomechanical praying mantis mixed with a snake. It had a small head, long ringed neck, but very large and laid black eyes that extended beyond the sides of its head. I quickly and carefully looked it over from bottom to top. My jaw stood wide open and awe. Out of sheer terror and the close proximity it was to me, I immediately raised my weapon over my head and pressed it firmly against the glass of the sliding doors. Almost as soon as I had made this motion the creature then extended from both sides what I can only describe as two sets of wing, like appendages, and emitted what looked like hundreds of tiny blue sparkling lightning bolts in every direction, above and below each of the four appendages I say appendages, because if they were wings they did then seem to be used for flight. The small bolts encompassed and engulfed the beam completely. At this moment the loud helicopter, static light sound had completely stopped. Each of these small blue lightning bolt-like energy emissions were no larger than my pinky finger. After just a few short seconds of me witnessing these lightning bolt, like electric emissions, the entity shot directly up and over the roof of my home at an amazing speed. Out of sight towards the front of the town home. After much time and thought I've come to the conclusion that this entity did not spread the wing like appendages and emit the plasma like discharge until I brandished my weapon. This led me to believe that this display must have been some sort of protective energy field to shield itself had I fired upon it. This entire encounter lasted no longer than a few minutes. After the being had disappeared out of view over my home, I quickly ran to the back door and went outside. As I stood there staring into the sky I immediately realized that it had left almost the exact time of dawn because the sun was coming up. Honestly, I don't like mentioning this part of the account. At that moment I realized that what I thought to be only a few minutes was, in reality, an hour or more had passed because it was now dawn with the sun quickly rising. Until this day, years later, I'm still no closer to an answer of what this being could have been, what it wanted, or why it beckoned me to the door with the light flashes. And, most importantly, what happened during that missing hour. K. Note, the witness states that they had made a report to Muffin and another reporting agency at the time of the incident, but never received a reply. He included the image below, stating that the head of this entity was very similar. Long, 